Hello, today we're going to talk about uh, computer networks uh, in the concept of ICT and the subjects of ICT. So what is a computer network? A computer network is a group of computers or devices connected together to share resources. Okay, so when people uh, started to work with computers, they decided, they discovered that they might need to transfer information from one computer to another without the need of having to physically transfer uh, anything from one to the other. Just, uh, just uh, basically uh, the computer sending one message to the other. Okay, so this was the start of a network. Nowadays, we just we not only connect computers, but we connect uh, all sorts of devices like um, laptops, um, desktop servers. Uh, phones, smartphones, uh, tablets, um, printers, uh, routers, all sorts of network devices. But the start of the net of the computer networks was the idea of trying to connect two computers together. This was first done in um, a military, a U.S. military um, uh, complex where. Um, they connected the first two computers together and they sent uh, they were able to send two letters before the system crashed the two letters were lo and then the system crashed but th that was the start of the uh, of the of, of computer networks and internet uh, and that was the, uh, the that was they created what was later called arpanet more or less in 1969 okay so, a computer network is a group of devices connected together. Group of devices connected together to share resources. Some computers it's very rare right nowadays, are not connected to the internet or to other computers. Those are, are called standalone computers. As I say, it is very rare to have standalone computers nowadays. Okay? Um, how can we connect devices together? We can connect them through various means. For example, cables. These are called Ethernet cables. Due to a protocol used uh, that is sent through those cables, Ethernet cables. We, uh, most people use Wi-Fi, which is a wireless sort of communication um, where you don't need uh, cables. Um, and then some we also use sometimes Bluetooth, and there's various other ways of connecting um, uh, computer uh, con connecting network devices. Uh, some are even, uh, some are even now being studied, like light, etc. Uh, etc. Et okay, so um, what are the advantages of each? Well, uh, through cable, there's less interference. There's greater speed. Um, and for example, you've got Ethernet cables, and now you've got optic fibers, which go at the maximum speed that we can get, which is the uh, speed of light. Okay, um, Wi Fi connections. Uh, allow us to move around uh, and they don't need uh, to be physically attached to uh, something like a cable but have uh, more interference, less speed you can't get the speed you get through cables and you can get more interference but more mobility Okay, and Bluetooth, um, the disadvantage is that it needs 
a short a short distance you can only communicate through uh, Bluetooth if you are at a short distance okay uh, that's uh, we will get through we'll talk more about these things in in other chapters what are the types of computer networks that we have okay so there's various classifications we'll, we're going to look at the uh, according to size and according to uh, size uh, there's more than this but these are the main types of computer networks uh, the smaller one is a PAN, a personal area network, which is a computer that only um, is uh, comprised of only one person. Okay, so for example, if you connect your computer with your um, with your printer and your mobile phone, and you're only it's only you going to be going to be using those devices, that's a PAN. A personal area network okay so the smallest one is a pan okay then that's one person for example when you when you connect uh, your Bluetooth Bluetooth devices for example your phone and your computer or your phone and your uh, and your car radio through Bluetooth you pair them and you connect them you pair them and you connect them you uh, in the Bluetooth, you pair the devices. The devices are paired, uh, and you connect them. Uh, you create an APAN, a, a small network just for you that allows you to transfer uh, communication between those devices. Okay. The next one in size is a local area network, which is a network which is um, which is. Uh, uh, Comprised only of a, uh, of a specific look, a geographical location. Okay, so it's devices connected. In a specific. Small geographic location. For example. All the devices in your house connected to your router that makes uh, your house LAN. Your LAN. Uh, you can have a, a LAN in a whole office building, uh, or you can have small LANs in one same building, one for each floor or one for each company. Uh, it's a small. Uh, it's all devices connected through a uh, in a small area. Okay, so that's a LAN. If you go, if you grow bigger than that. You have a uh, you have a MAN, which is a metropolitan area network, which, as the name says, can be a, a city, but it can also be a campus or a, a, a combination of those. Okay, and then you have the one, which is the wide area network, which is a, a network um, uh, which is formed by which extends over a large geographical area. And is normally formed by uh, man's lands etc. Okay, so uh, we will we can take a look at this here as a, a pan, for example, is this type of network where you connect your computer with your devices only for yourself. A LAN is uh, a bigger kind of network, uh, more devices normally, but it's also uh, through uh, it's also uh, with different types of uh, people. Okay. Uh, a man can be man can is a greater kind of network, and it can be various lands together, a building, a house, various buildings, a whole city. That can be a man, okay. And it, and if we grow even bigger than that, is the one which it can be formed by lands, mans, etc. And it's a it's a bigger geographical uh, area. So the main idea here is the size from pan to one, okay. Uh, there's another type of important uh, uh, network, which is a WLAN, a B, a B LAN, which is um, a double, sorry, not a VLAN, a, a WLAN, uh, which is a, uh, a type of LAN where you don't connect things uh, with a cable, but it's connected through uh, 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 Wi-Fi. Okay, so it's it's Wi-Fi LAN. That's WLAN. 
And a same LAN can have can have different types of connections. For for example, in our LAN here, we have connected things through our uh, through a wireless and through cable. And we have uh, we could think of only the uh, WLAN being the devices only through Wi-Fi and the uh, the smaller LAN connected through the Ethernet cables, or we can think of it as a whole as our home LAN. Okay. Then, um, so those are the types of uh, networks uh, that we can have according to our size. Um, what are networks for? Well, networks, are, as we said, were created to share resources. And those resources, um, at first were files, but we have been, um, this has grown. Uh, and the sort of uh, resources that we are now sharing is much bigger. And I'll give you some ideas. Um, so, for example, we first started sharing files. We now have email services. Uh, we have, um, for example, video, like uh, video resources like YouTube or Vimeo. Uh, we can share games through online games, for example. We can share um, uh, music. Uh, we can share. We can share web pages. So there's there's a whole great amount of resources uh, that are shared through uh, computer networks. When we're talking about computer networks, the first thing that comes to mind to everyone is the internet. And what is the internet? Well, an internet is a type of one because it consists of all the small lands together, uh, lands and ones. Um, being connected together, and it's the most famous type of one. Uh, how did it uh, come to be? As we said, it, it uh, uh, the U.S. military created ARPANET, and then it started growing. More computers started connecting to it, started connected in it, started connected to it, and then it started growing and became what we now know as the internet, which is a huge connection of. Uh, many uh, small computer networks, okay, and com and 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 it, it uh, grow. It has grown all over the world, okay. Uh, what is the difference? And through the internet, we get uh, we can uh, we can get all those resources that we were to, uh, we were talking about, okay. What is an intranet? Okay, so in an intranet is a private network. Where you can, uh, where the the, the services um, uh, where the services shared or provided are similar to those to those of the internet. Can only be accessed by certain users. Okay. So, for example, in a in an intranet, you can have email, you can have uh, file servers, you can have web servers, you can have uh, all the resources that uh, you could have in a in an in the internet, which is public. And this is private, but those resources are restricted to uh, a certain group of users. For example, it's very common to have an intranet in an office or a company, company intranet, where all the file servers, uh, all the uh, email, uh, all the cloud uh, resources, etc., can only be accessed by the members of by the workers in the company. Okay, do not uh, confuse intranet with VPN, which is also private, but it's a different kind of thing. Okay, we will we will talk about that later on. So we have the internet as a public uh, network, one network um, which shares resources, and the intranet, which is a private one, which also has uh, a lot of shared resources, but only for a certain kind of 
uses, a certain group, a group of uses. Okay? And where are those resources stored? Well, both in the internet and in the internet, they're, they're stored in a certain kind of computers which are called servers. And servers are computers used to provide resources. And you can have file servers, and you can have web servers, and you can have um, and you can have uh, database servers. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et right? Email servers. So, some servers might provide uh, all or some of these resources. Some uh, are dedicated only to one type of uh, resource. It depends on the size of the company. But uh, those co these computers, the servers, are not used by any user. They're only there to provide uh, the, the resources. For example, file servers are not used by users. They just used for storage and other computers will connect to the servers so it's if you have a server here and that's your server uh, other computers will connect to that server and access those files over there but this uh, server over here will not be used by uh, a user as someone typing in there etc etc and the file server here could also be a web server, etc., etc. So, what happens uh, in a broad sense when you, uh, in your local area network at home, in your LAN, on your computer, when you try to access a web page, for example, that goes to your router, from your router to goes to another router, and another router. And another router and this is what we call the internet so that's a one and then it gets to another router which connects to for example Facebook's or Google's or whatever to their LAN and that will go through some devices, firewalls, etc., etc., and will eventually go to, for example, your web server. And whatever you've requested will then travel here. It might, it doesn't always follow the same path through the internet, but it uh, it will go back and forth and uh, provide the resource that you have requested. So this is a basic video on uh, networks, and then we will also look on uh, on next videos. We will look on how to create a network. What are the components that we need for to create a network? Um, how does the information travel through the internet? The security uh, measures that we need to take, etc., etc. This was just intended as a small introduction to computer. Networks.